Hanukkah honors the Festival of Lights, and what better way to celebrate than donuts? I'm Vivia Gugnani here in Boston, Massachusetts at the Seaport Hotel. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef who's going to give us a holiday treat with a Moroccan twist. So I'm here with Executive Chef Rachel Klein. Rachel, it's Hanukkah. What are we having? We're making Moroccan donuts with rose water and cardamom and toasted almonds. Yum! That's pretty an exotic Hanukkah for me, I think. We're going to take our dry yeast. Mm -hmm. Just put it in our water and kind of dissolve it, and it can sit there for a couple of minutes. And is wow. the water warm or is it? The water is warm. If it's too hot, it'll actually kill the yeast. Right, so you always want the water to be just a little bit warm. While that's kind of dissolving, we can just take our flour, our dry ingredients. This is sifted AP flour. And what makes it AP flour? It's all purpose. There we go. <laughs> and then we've got our sugar. Just regular white sugar? Regular sugar and our kosher salt. So this flour has been sifted, and I like sifted flour for baking because it takes all the lumps out and makes it nice and um, You get that fluffy. nice consistency. So we've got all our dry ingredients together, and our yeast is pretty much dissolved. We, we basically want to add both together and just stir it just a little bit. So this is perfect. Okay. We're just going to throw it down here on a lightly floured surface. Right, so you don't want it to stick, so you got the flour on there. Knead it together. Do you want to? You can do it. Yeah, I can want. do this. I can knead. I'm just folding over and then I move it to the side and then I fold over again and just press my palms in. Okay, so one-handed knead is <laughs> the fold over push and it press and rotate, and rotate and fold and press and it's getting stuck to my palms and now I think you should take over. <laughs> I'm there, I can see it, it's happening. It's yeah. happening, it's happening. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting better as I'm getting coached. You know that the dough is pretty much ready when it starts getting kind of smooth around the outside here. You just, the consistency changes from being really sticky to kind of smooth on the outside. So I lightly oiled this bowl mm -hmm. and then we're just going to pop that in here and then wrap it in saran wrap and let it sit in a warm place for about an hour and a half until it doubles in size. Because you want it to rise. Yeah. And that, you know, it's a really important tip to have the bowl bowl be a little bit oiled because you don't want the dough to stick to it. Yeah. And the saran wrap, really <laughs> important also. It kind of locks in the moisture. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, I mean, you don't want it in a space that's too hot because then you'll cook the, the yeast out. Exactly. And if it's too cold, then it won't really activate. So you kind of like that warm, nice, happy place. So while the dough is rising, we're going to make the rose cardamom syrup. So two cups of sugar, one cup of water. And then we've got two teaspoons of ground cardamom. Which I love. You can stir up the sugar to dissolve yeah. it. And then the lemon juice we're going to reserve for when it's reduced by half. That way it doesn't cook out and have a little bit of acidity to balance out all the sweet. I really am a big fan of your spoon. This, uh, this is so fun. Big fan of the uh, slotted spoon. I'm a big fan <laughs> of the slotted spoon. Look at this thing go. So we reduced this mixture by half and it was our sugar, our water, and our cardamom. Right. Then we've got our lemon juice, and then a teaspoon of rose water, and um, this stuff is potent. It's it is. So my mixture is now it's smells done. amazing. The rose water has this really delicate mm -hmm. rose you don't, smell. You don't really taste it. It's more of like a an essence. You smell it. It is. It you smell it. So we've got a little sieve and. And lined it with cheesecloth because the cheesecloth will catch all the particles. I mean, the, the um, cardamom is so fine that you need to put cheesecloth in. Of course. Okay, so we've got that nice, yep. ready to go, and I'm going to pour it in. Yeah. So we're going to strain it. And don't push it through the cheesecloth because you okay. really want it to catch. So there will be a little bit left over. Just want to kind of like gently let it run through. Right. You can shake it a little bit, kind of get it, but don't press. You see the difference between. Of course. So now that our rose water and cardamom syrup is done, it's time to go back to the dough. Okay, well this has been, well it rose for an hour and a half. We punched it down and then it rose again for a half an hour. Mm -hmm. And you can see it pretty much. Yeah, it's really volume. gotten more than double in size, I would say. Flour, just lightly. Just the surface. Stick. Just kind of separate it in four. And you're saying bench scrapers are like the I most fun I love tool. it. What a really fun tool. And pretty much, you don't want to press out all the the air that, that, um, from the yeast and just kind of 
cut pieces of this. Like I, I personally like to just kind of put them down like this. And then we'll put them in the oil when they're and ready. And they like make them a little bit. So it's basically like taking this shape, pressing it out just a little bit with your thumbs. You kind of separate it mm -hmm. to make it a little bit more round, I would say. Mm -hmm. And that looks like about right to me. So I'm going to throw these little ones in there too. And this one in there too. Just got to be really careful. You want to put it away from you so it kind of splashes that way, not onto your body. So you want them a golden brown, but you just you want them to cook inside as well because there's nothing grosser than a half-cooked donut. Oh, that's true. There is nothing <laughs> grosser than a half-cooked donut. And what kind of oil do you use when you're deep frying? This is actually a cottonseed oil. You want like a neutral oil, canola, cottonseed. Um, I think grapeseed. Because you don't want too the expensive. yeah, grapeseed's too expensive. And the other thing is, you want a neutral flavor. You don't want actually the oil to flavor the donut. Right. And so you're going for that cottonseed or you don't need to do um, peanut oil if you want to. So you're taking your donuts and you're just dunking them in a little bit of the rose water cardamom syrup. Right. And you want to get them a little wet so that when you stick them in the almonds, almonds stick. Delicious. Thank you. Really, really dough. tasty. Mm. The dough is so tasty, but the, you get that amazing flavor the in the rose syrup. and the cardamom. Yeah, the dough is definitely, I, I want to say like the syrup's definitely the star. Mm -hmm. The donut is very, it, it's, it's a neutral donut, so you could actually flavor it with so many different things. But the keys, you definitely need to try to eat it as quickly as it comes out of the fryer. Very important. Don't worry. We will not have any difficulty <laughs> eating these quickly. And I love the crunch of the almonds as well. So thank, thank you, you so much for having us. Thank you. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.